Hello friends, and the footage you're seeing right now is a clown massacre. Clowns are immensely powerful, dangerous creatures, and you rarely even find them alone, uh, as this footage depicts. But as you see, um, I'm just including this to contextualize the engineering feat that you're about to see next. Um, clowns are nigh impossible to kill in most situations, um, and incredibly dangerous in the meantime. But... What I bring to you today is an automatic, interactive, so dwarves can interact with it in a positive way if they choose to, or they can completely ignore it. It will safely dispose of clowns in the current Steam version. That's a big caveat because it takes, it takes advantage of major exploits like unbreakable doors, things like that. But what you're about to see in this footage is a safe, effective, and positive to the health and well-being of the fortress machine that processes clowns. That's a big promise, but here, but here it is. So, um, what we have is we have tunneled into the circus via a pathway. And again, a big part of this is, um, unbreakable doors exploit in the steam version, but you can also, um, Anywhere that you see a forbid or passable door valve, just replace it with a valve that works in your version. Okay, enough said on that. But so, the basics are, hell now gets tapped, and it opens into, right now, this is this is the killing floor, this is the room. And those um, red bars are places that I have strongly, absolutely forbidden my dwarves to walk, because part of troubleshooting this was um, that dwarves will just wander over the spikes as they automatically come in and out. In and out of the floor, right there in the top uh, right, you see, is uh, actually a skeleton that represents two dead dwarves. That just that was a high priority. It was a nice way to get through that room, and two dwarves got it immediately impaled um, before I realized. So I set. Now they absolutely are not allowed to walk over the spikes, and um, these spikes that you're seeing here constitute um, each. Sorry, it's it's hard to explain. It's a little complicated. But um, there are three pressure plates in my fortress, and each pressure, pressure plate is in a constantly used hallway, so it's constantly being toggled on and off, at basically as quickly as possible. Um, the spikes are in zones roughly assigned to certain, one of those three pressure plates. So these spikes are moving completely automatically, just as, as business in the fort gets done, um, the spikes are randomly rising up and down, and the spikes are all made out of uh, either steel or uh, adamantine. These are the only two metals that are hard enough to not be crushed apart when uh, a supermassive creature like a like a clown uh, walks over it. Basically, you know, it's like an immovable object versus uh, whatever unstoppable force. Where the when the spike goes tries to strike through and pierce the demon. Uh, the demon's skin will just will just break the me uh, mechanism, unless it's steel or adamantine. So, uh, but we've got that set up. Oh, and we've already jumped ahead. So right there is a um, dead, yeah, dead. Uh, our first clown that we tested on. So remember that it's the same. It's actually the same Quetzal monster, the same one that was killing um, half my fortress. Just a slaughter in the hallway. Uh, has been stabbed. You can see the trail of goo. It just it it got poked. It got booped, and then it it bled it bled out. So now what we're also doing, here's what makes it interactive as well, is that we actually have a two-level, two-tiered shooting gallery, which is nested away from the rest of the fortress, and this is really important. So it's nested away from the rest of the fortress such that any random dwarf walking past will never see it, because dwarves get very traumatized. These, these clowns, these demons, are incredibly frightening, horrifying creatures, so if they see one they will get traumatized, and they will also, like, drop whatever they're doing. If they're carrying something, they'll drop it in fear. And then you'll get in loops where the dwarf... All the dwarves will be too afraid to go back in that room and get a vase or something you need. Um, because there's a monster that they can see that's, you know, a terrifying monster also in that room, and they're all basically going in loops where they're refusing to go get it. Um, so make sure that when you build this room, it's facing away from the main traffic of your fortress. Now, beyond that... On the backside, where dwarves have no reason to be, carve out a backside to that room and 
smooth the walls and make fortifications. That's what I've done. So right here, this is a great example. See, the fortifications are on the back side of this room. So dwarves have no reason to go back there unless there are soldiers that I'm sending back there to train archery, to shoot down from the gallery, from these, both these levels, basically. Um, so I'm pretty proud of this. It, ha it has a few subtle but very important effects that I've learned from testing other rooms like this. So uh, dwarves who aren't soldiers should not see any of this. It'll horrify them and it'll, it'll mess up the flow of your fortress. But Archers should be able to get in there and have easy line of sight to basically the whole room. And the way you do that, again, is, is you kind of loop around and have like an armored section that separates the citizenry from this, from this bloodbath. And then the backside is all windows for archers to practice on such that they have sight down into uh, and the demons can't hide anywhere, basically. Um, and so that's exactly what, what we're doing. As much as I want to train archery or train, you know, combat readiness, like not panicking when in combat, like, you know, familiarity with killing these clowns, these demons. Um, anytime I want to train that, it's just, I send the soldiers to patrol these, these fortifications and they just stand there and they hammer, uh, bolts right through until they're great at archery or uh, Mark Storff ship, uh, you know, with crossbows. And, um, yeah, and the spikes, even if I forget about them, if I don't want to work on military, then it's just a forgotten room. Then the, um, demons just wander around until they invariably get booped by either adamantine or steel spikes. You'll see by the end of this, I have more spikes installed as well. I'm improving it. Oh, the other thing is that these, these door, uh, exploit valves make it so easy that what I'm actually doing is I'm doing like a, um, a head count, you know, like in a club where they say like, we're at capacity, where I say, like, okay, one demon, two demons, three demons, four demons, okay, capacity in the killing room. And then when those four are dead, I can actually open up the room, pop it open, collect all my bolts, clean the floor. I'll show um, the layout of this footage is, like, me building it and testing it on this first one. And then by the end, you're going to see us, like, tons of... It's, it's actually really cool footage um, coming up because it's, like, 30 dwarves just, uh, you know, shooting, like, machine gun bolts down. And, and the demons are, like, panicking and uh, hitting the spikes as they do. And then we clean it up. We unlock the door, you know, depressurize it, uh, open the airlock, and, and we can clean it out and collect everything. So uh, a rare engineering success from me. I know those of you who have been with my channel for a while, you know that uh, it takes a few tries, but um, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's, it's going good. And I have been um, just using it to train my dwarves, basically, just letting demons in. If there's any knocking at the uh, first airlock that lets them in from the circus, then I um, I let them in, and then I check eventually, and they're all dead. I train my dwarves in the meantime if I want to, and uh, I clean it occasionally. It's pretty it's pretty tight. So this was kind of like an earlier draft of how I was gonna get the uh, shooting gallery set up, and you can see this is not efficient because the dwarves are making like a big elongated M shape over those two pillars, which is, that's exactly why I'm digging them out right now. Uh, what ends up being most efficient on this level, and then the second level, one uh, one Z level up in the uh, shooting gallery, is um, just let the dwarves basically patrol, just the way you see those those blue flags that marks the patrol point. Um, just have them basically snake just straight back and forth. Um, and then every time they catch eyes with a demon, they will... Uh, angle their crossbows there and try to shoot and you can see the fortifications on the um, far side on that second level on the far side uh, and that ends up being actually the best vantage place most of the dwarves congregate up there and successfully get shots from there but this is still the early stages you can see i'm also digging out um more surface area for the archers to run along and um once again, this is all kind of pocketed. If you look at the map, there's like one stairway down here, and the only thing down here that any dwarves would want or have access to is the shooting gallery. So that keeps all the, you know, dwarven children, all the animals, all the civilians um, from being traumatized and stressing about the fact that we now have uh, a killing room full of, full of demons. Right there, there's actually two pressure plates um, on the same hallway there. And that's, that's the hallway that comes off of my mist generator in the first cavern. So it's a very... Um, it's a very uh, commonly tripped pressure plate. Um, you can see the, the heart above that, that clown, that he's, he's very hurt, and that's actually his, his green blood in places. Um, one good thing about using the archery in addition to the spikes is that it will agitate the um, 
demons and make them continue to move around, which increases the chances of, um, of them catching a spike. And now I'm not even sure what would be more efficient, because when I first made this trap, I was like, oh, it's two Z-levels, so any demon that can fly, which would be any demon that can get up here, so all demons, they can fly one level up to um, avoid the spikes, which basically lowers the efficiency of the spike mechanism by 50% right there. Um, but the archery vantage point of being able to shoot down and into this room is actually so great that um, if there is any kind of issue with... Um, demons that seem to be congregating towards the ceiling you just send the squad for one second and that the demons will then go down towards the ground to avoid those arrows there you go we do we cut forward into some bigger demons that are flying up you can see on the second level but they're you see my dwarves on the right side just shooting constantly so they can come up but they're only going to increase the um accuracy of my military and they're on the second level we're also shooting and the demons are the clowns are dancing because they are trying to get out they're trying to get at my dwarves, they're trying to get um, away from the arrows that are hitting them, and as they do, they're they're catching spike damage the whole time. And like I said, if, if I turn my squads off, the dwarves walk away, they forget about this room, and the demons just occasionally take spike damage um, randomly. And uh, you can see, actually, I'm using the door exploit. Oh, right there, where my mouse is. You see the demon blipped out of existence and left cinders. Um, so that killed him. He was running from arrows. Yep, and I was circling it with my mouse. He was running from arrows. The spikes came up. Dead clown. And that's the way we do it. And like I said, all those forbidden uh, bolts will collect those out every time uh, these demons are dead. And I'll show that actually in these last couple minutes. We'll, we'll clear these demons and then we will um, uh, just go in there. Yep, I'm saving. Can open airlock. Um, and, and we'll clean it out use it again and then we open that other the one on the right side that forbidden door that lets more demons in from from the circus and you rinse and repeat um and it's pretty good now i have um you know if there's any i'm gonna turn i think for this map now that i've conquered basically everything i'm gonna turn enemies back on and with my wealth and probably probably the backlog of sieges that i've i've had turned off since i've been focusing um i think we're gonna have some probably some cool some cool sieges and then my expert archer dwarves can just um 360 no scope everybody here this is um everybody dead all the de all the clowns dead and no no risk at all to my uh, dwarves not a single bit of damage i mean eventually i may find a weird demon or something that can shoot back at me through these um fortifications but it has not been an issue it's been completely safe squad training and um even if we want to forget about the room it has no negative effect and the the clowns slowly die from the spikes that are just automatically um poking at them from the pressure plates um Okay, wait, I'm running out of time. Guys, if you made it this far, um, I think everybody, most people watching have subscribed already. You know that how important it is for this channel to grow. Um, please like, make sure to uh, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, it really, really helps. Um, this, that's the only way that I can keep these on like a one video every day or every other day kind of uh, pacing. I'm gonna have to slow down if... Um so anyway, sorry, that's business talk, but thank you guys for your support. That's all I wanted to say. And um, yeah, what do you think? Should I... um? Should I start a new map? I'm thinking I'm going to run this one into the ground. I'm going to turn enemies back on, let goblins or whoever, uh, elves, whoever, hammer me. And, uh, you know, this one's, this one's in the autumn of its life, for sure. Because we did everything, and it, it's, go it's still going great. So, um, yeah, I think I'm ready for my next adventure pretty soon. But, um, yeah, if, if there's anything else you want to see, you know, we have, like, over 10... 10k power now if there's anything else you were curious about before i move on to this map definitely leave it in the comments and um yeah thanks for watching you see okay so this is actually after we moved the corpses out you see the miasma has gone um and yeah so i'm still kind of having that glitch that i talked about in the last video where um my hell is kind of unaggressive and even when new demons spawn they'll go off that southeast corner mostly but um it's been good it, it's actually been good for you know a clean controlled demonstration of this uh this killing zone uh, let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching, as always, and I'll, I'll catch you in the next one.